Coco guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you a bit about the TV series that I'm currently watching or that I've just finished to watch. The one that I feel to suggest to you if you want to start to watch something I definitely recommend you this. The first TV series that I am currently really into it is Scum which is this Norwegian TV series. Now there are four seasons. Each season is 13 episodes and each episode is like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. It doesn't really have a standard length. In every season there is a new main character uh, within this group of high school students. It's amazing because it shows a lot of things that usually don't see in other TV series or teenagers problems that they might have but in other TV series are not shown and is in Norwegian but you have the subtitles in English or Italian in my case I really really recommend this I will give a 9 out of 10 the second TV series I want to suggest to you is Broadchurch basically there is this this detective who arrived in this village on in the Dover, in the Dorset. Well, the place is stunning. The landscape in this TV series is amazing. And I have a friend who did the tour over there, so I guess that if you really like this place, you can also go there and sightseeing places. But there is a lot to walk, so if you decided to go, be prepared. <laughs> Two of these seasons rotate on a main point, a main case, which is the death of a kid. Everything is uh, going on in the village because it's a very small village, so everybody knows each other, the family doesn't give up and they want to know why and how it happened and whatever and whatnot. And then there is the third season, which is always with the same characters uh, but a bit of an, another story but anyway I guess there are three seasons I don't really remember very well but yeah the main actor is David Tennant uh, so probably you know him also for Doctor Who uh, I personally don't watch Doctor Who but I have friends who do and so they talk a lot about him because apparently it's a big deal so yeah, I will give to this TV series 7 out of 10. The third TV series that I feel that you have to watch is Bates Motel. I love Hitchcock. I love his work. I think I watched a huge part of Hitchcock's movies. Bates Motel, if you don't know, is based on Norman Bates' life, as a teenager in this case. Uh, Norman Bates, he is the guy in Psycho, uh, the Hitchcock movie. Everything is concentrated on Norman Bates and his mother and the relationship that they have. In Psycho, Norman is already a grown-up man, but in this TV series is in modern days, so it's not like in the 40s, but his life as a teenager, so he's going, to, he's attending to the high school, he makes some friends and then there is a plot twist and so far there are five seasons. I watched the first three seasons last year and I started to watch the fourth season two days ago. The fourth season is amazing, it's the best one so far and then I have to watch the fifth one. The actor is Freddie Highmore, Freddie Highmore and the woman is Vera Farmiga and they are they are terrific. So I want to give to this TV series a 9.5 out of 10. Then another TV series that I want to suggest to you but I think I already talked about this is Narcos about the life of Pablo Escobar, um, the narco traffic, uh, narco traficante. If you haven't watched it, it's on Netflix, go to watch it. I give like 7.5 out of 10. And then I started so many TV series. 
Um, I started Game of Thrones. I started Hannibal. I started To the Ends of the Earth with Ben. I started Downton Abbey, Orange is the New Black, Lie to Me, Stranger Things, The Crown, Breaking Bad, Mad Men, and I guess there is something else. But yeah, so these are the <laughs> TV series that I'm currently watching. So let me know if you follow my suggestion and if you follow my advice and you start to watch something uh, that I recommended to you. I will stop here. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next week with another video. Bye!